Hello my lovelies, welcome back. My name is Amy if you're brand new to this channel and today I wanted to share with you my current favorites. I'm gonna start off with my handbag favorite of the month. This is my newest work bag and it is amazing guys. Lots of features to talk about so I'm gonna do a quick review and then also show you how it looks on me. If you're already a follower of my channel, you would have known that I featured a review of the newest Louis Vuitton on the go MM size on my channel. I mentioned in that video that my laptop, which is the MacBook Air 13 inch from 2017 did not fit in that bag. Different models and even different years of models are different sizes. Now, this bag will definitely fit my laptop. In fact, it fits my husband's MacBook Pro 15 inch and he has a really old one. Like his one is really, really old. So his one is really, really big. So rest assured that this one will fit almost i would say almost all 15 inch laptops it came in a beautiful white box as well as this dust bag here both sides are exactly identical except that the front side has also the teddy blake logo on it and i chose it in the black smooth leather so i'll have the exact one linked down below and this bag features top handles so double top handles it also features two zippered pockets on either side of the bag. The lining is in red color. So the lining is a suede. It's a beautiful, beautiful leather suede, shiny gold color with this beautiful leather pull on it. It also comes with a detachable strap, which you can attach to the bag and wear it as a crossbody or even as a shoulder bag. It has a few settings that you can work with. There's another piece of leather that lines the bottom and I'll just take it out just to show you so it has the red suede side and then it has the smooth black side I like to use the smooth side facing up so I just left it like that facing up you can also unbutton each side to make it wider so now you can really see the inside and um, this is the bottom of the bag so let's talk about pros and cons Pro is that this bag is so understated. It's a really, really beautiful handbag, but you can definitely use it for work because like I said, it fits my husband's 15 inch laptop. This is how it looks like. As you can see, there's a couple more inches for a 15 inch laptop as well. This beautiful, soft, smooth leather is so rich. It smells so good. The leather smell is intoxicating, actually. I love the design because it's quite understated. The logo is quite muted on the bottom. If you don't like the logo, you can definitely wear it on this side as well. Really professional looking work bag. You can also use it as a regular handbag. I personally wouldn't use it as a handbag because it is quite big, but as a work bag, I think it's perfect. The inside is suede leather. If you don't like the color red, they have other colors to choose from. I personally am a big fan of red. I love that it comes with a detachable shoulder strap. I love the compartments. So obviously you have the middle compartments, but I love the zippered side compartments. I love the fact that it has beautiful Toron handles. So you can wear it by the crook of the arm, handheld, shoulder, crossbody. These bags are made in Italy, crafted in Italian leather. The quality is really, really decent for the price. A lot of good qualities about this bag. In terms of cons, the most obvious one is the weight. Any bags that are above two pounds, I would consider them to be heavy. So this bag is definitely over two pounds. I don't know exactly how many, but I, I, I'd say like it's closer to three pounds. So it is a heavy bag, but because I consider this to be a work bag, then it's acceptable for me. I would technically not really use this as a handbag, like an everyday handbag, just because as an everyday handbag, I I cannot shoulder or I cannot hold something that heavy for a long, long time. As a work bag, because I'm going to and from my car and to the office, then it's completely fine. This bag is not technically lined, so whatever you see inside is the raw side, um, the, the suede side of the leather, and it's just colored red. So you will see some red peeking through on the edges. So... Do you guys see it? So the red color is peeking through a little bit. It's very minor, you won't even notice it. While I really like having 
the shoulder option of an attachable strap the problem with it or at least the con that i find is that it doesn't drape that nice actually it looks pretty decent right now some straps really drape really nicely like as if it was part of the bag this one it looks more like it's added to it so one way to combat this is just to tuck it in because the loops where you attach the straps are inside the bag anyway so if you tuck it in then it's perfectly fine all in all i really like this bag despite the cons like any bag there's pros and cons to every bag i should also mention that this bag was gifted to me just to be super transparent so yeah if you guys are in the need of a work bag i highly suggest this one and speaking of bags I have here another accessory that goes with bags and this is very similar to one that I already have but this one is actually designed in Australia. The owner of this company contacted me and asked me if I wanted to try it out so of course I said yes because I already have a version of these kinds of bag hangers that I love. This one is slightly different, the size is slightly different. This is in a shiny gold color and they are also sold on Amazon so it's super easy to get a hold of. It comes with the little booklet as well. It really looks like one of my favorite ones and that's why I was really intrigued. So this is one of my favorite ones that I always, always keep in my bags. I'll just do a very quick comparison. So with this one, the clip bar, it's round. Whereas this one, it's an oval, as you can see. With this one, you can just open it and close it like that. With this one, however, it has a small mechanism where it locks it. So if you don't release it, then you can't really open it. So I guess it's safer in certain circumstances, maybe your children, I don't know. Um, I'm not sure, but with this one, you can definitely lock it. So in order to release it, you just have to press on the button and you can release it already. So once you release it, then obviously you can use it. It also has a spring mechanism similar to the other one, especially when I travel and I don't want my handbags to touch the floor. Sometimes some restaurants have really, really thick tables and this sometimes does not work because it's a little less wide than the ovalet. I think a whole centimeter more. So thank you Oriel for sending me this beautiful ovalet bag hanger. I really, really love it. I love the fact that this one can accommodate a thicker table. Uh, like I said, I these types of bag hangers are my favorite because they're robust. Um, they last forever, they hold your bags from the floor, from the toilet stalls, from I don't know, anywhere, the amusement park, um, anywhere, like you can literally hang this on anything, anything that you are able to latch onto. Um, it literally is a lifesaver, so I am really, really a big fan of these. Uh, the ovalet only accommodates up to 11 pounds, which is actually enough because while the clipper accommodates up to 30 pounds, I don't ever personally ever carry a handbag that's 30 pounds. In fact, I don't even think that any of my bags are 10 pounds. Um, it's just too heavy. But if you do a lot of backpacking and you have like really large backpacks and perhaps the clipper will accommodate your, the weight for you but with this one any typical handbags uh larger size thicker table you will be completely fine and then also this one you can also wear it as a bracelet since it locks in place uh, however for me i have tiny little hands and wrists <laughs> So for me, it's a no-go as a bracelet because it just comes right off. I wanted to move on to a couple of clothing items. Um, there you have it. My beautiful sweater. I love this. I don't know if I've ever... I actually, no. I have talked about this sweater, but um, it is definitely a favorite. I know that this is a very expensive sweater. I did get mine on sale though, which is great. I did save quite a bit of money on mine. Um, because I was quite patient, I was waiting it to go on sale but I do highly recommend it even if it's full price but obviously if you can get it on sale, even better these go for like $1,500, $1,600 Canadian plus tax so they are up there but these are really really thick wool uh, I got it in the navy blue and red but I am really hoping to get it in a maybe like a light grey color um something a little bit brighter than this blue color even though i do love it but i just want another option for next winter these sweaters 
Ah, oh, they're so warm. The type of cold here in Vancouver is slightly different. It's a damp cold, whereas in Montreal, uh, where I used to live, it's more a dry cold. I mean, it still gets humid, I suppose, with the snow and everything, but indoors it gets really, really dry because of the heat. Uh, whereas in Vancouver, we get a lot of rain, we get uh, rain, snow, and a combination of, and then uh, it just tends to feel more damp, like the type of cold is more like in your bones. It is oversized and it's just a super cozy, really, really great sweater. And I know that it's logo plastered, but honestly, when it comes to keeping warm and when it comes to comfort and when it comes to the dead of winter, the last thing I care about is to be super elaborate dressing. All I care about is my big hoodies my oversized sweaters and you know boots and all that stuff and my nice scarves that's all i care about because i just care about being warm and speaking of scarf acne studio is definitely one of my favorites i initially saw these on claire chanel i think she featured this on her vlog like two years ago or maybe like a year and a half ago and so i've always had my eye on one and so when i uh, I think I bought this on Black... Was it on Black Friday? I think I did buy it on Black Friday around that time and I saved a little bit of money because these always also fly off the shelves especially when they go on sale but these are amazing because they're super thick um, It has two sides so you can wear the lighter side you can wear the darker side They do kind of become worn like it's not pilling yet but they do I think they will become more like fuzzy and worn over time but it's okay because I mean it is supposed to be worn right but these literally like you wrap it around a couple times you wear a coat you can wear it indoors outdoors it really keeps you warm because it's so thick and warm and depending on how you wrap yourself you can really protect your neck area or even wrap it around your head I know it's logo plastered as well but it's it's actually, um, you can't really tell unless you drape it on you. So once you have it on you, looped around a couple times, you can't even see the logo anyway. Not that it matters, I really don't care that I can see logos. Highly recommend it. I'll probably also get my hands on another color next year. This is something that I posted on my Instagram already. So if you follow me there, you would have seen these headphones so these are truly wireless headphones by the company studio the european company and i chose it in the blue color this time this is one of their newest models the femme and what i like about these these are a little bit different from the previous ones that i got from them with the charging case you can go up to 20 hours of use i think and then this is how it looks like it shows you how much battery you have left so this is your charging case they fit pretty well they actually fit um pretty snug and there's four sizes of the little silicone plastic that you can use so this is how it looks like on me the little uh, silver bits goes uh, towards your mouse because that's like one of the microphones there's a there's actually four microphones on these little devices so two on each i let my husband use these and right off the bat he noticed that they were super comfortable both him and i we own the airpods pro and i personally love the airpods pro they fit pretty well but after a while they get sweaty and it gets kind of uncomfortable i don't know maybe the shape they don't irritate me the same way they irritate him actually because he's actually allergic to the silicone on the apple one so i let him use these and he loved these he found them super comfortable um, the fact that there's four different sizes of silicone to use for these ones he didn't have any allergic reaction for some reason i don't know why these are also noise cancelling so it's very similar to the airpods pro are also noise cancelling and based on my testing i was pretty impressed it just sounded just as good as the airpods pro Honestly, the AirPods Pro, they're not like the best quality in terms of sound if you're really, really geeky about it. They're good for the average user, which I am. So I would say that this is kind of similar. The sound is pretty crisp and it's pretty good. I was listening to music on it uh, while the TV was on and I can hardly hear the TV. They are noise cancelling, which is great. So that's why I'm comparing it to the AirPods Pro. These will last you a total of 20 hours of use. That's including the charged device as well as the um, the case itself so um, 
I think that's slightly shorter time than the AirPods Pro. Can, I think the AirPods Pro will give you 24 hours. Also IPX5 uh, splash proof, which I believe is the same as the AirPods Pro. So they're very comparable, but they're just a little different. Uh, Price-wise, these are a little bit more affordable. Uh, so I will link these down below. I also have a coupon code. You're free to use it. I'm not affiliated. Uh, it's just really for you guys. It also comes in black, in white, as well as pink. Uh, last time I got it in pink, so this time I went with the darker color. My last few favorites are digital favorites. So I feel like I haven't shared any of my favorite Netflix or books lately. So let me go ahead and share with you. I'm currently listening to this book called Essentialism. It's a really, really good book. I'm already re-listening to this book and I'm gonna start taking notes and, you know, do my thing where I discussed in my 2020 goals. I'm pretty sure everybody else will relate to this book. If you feel like you're ever stretched too thin, which I think most of us will feel at one point or another or even on a daily basis, then this book is for you because this book will discuss concepts and theories on how you can eliminate anything that's not essential. Therefore, by doing so, you will also simplify your life and really concentrate all your effort and energy on things that are truly essential, truly matter to you, and truly uh, important in your life. So it's a really, really eye-opening book. And obviously the concept is very straightforward, but it, at the same time, not all of us will implement it because not all of us will consciously be um, thinking about this in our heads. We always feel like we always need to please and never say no. Uh, I'm a pleaser, so uh, I've definitely over the years learned to say no a lot but it's still not enough. So this book, I highly, highly recommend that you read it or listen to it. I'll link it down below. It's a really, really great book. I have a few Netflix shows I really want to share with you. They're all Korean drama or Korean um, series, which I've been obsessed for a while now, but um, I don't even speak the language, but like the, the quality and the level of uh, comedy, drama, and just storytelling on and, and acting on uh, Korean series are just so top-notch. If you're into action and thriller, I definitely recommend watching Vagabond. Usually when I don't get hooked within the first episode or two, then I forget about the series. It may be really good at the end, but if I cannot get hooked within the first couple episodes, then I just don't even watch it. But with Vagabond, I was hooked literally within the first 10 minutes. It was so so good. The next one that I recommend is Crash Landing on You. It's one of the hottest series right now, even in Korea, I think. Uh, it just finished, so um, I highly recommend you watch it. It's so funny, but also uh, realistic in a way. Something to do with North Korea and South Korea. So that's all I'm gonna say. Um, it's a really, really nice show. It's a contemporary show, so like modern days. The next show that I also highly recommend, especially if you're into Korean history, Mr. Sunshine. That one is from last year, but I have not watched it till this year, and oh my gosh, it's... It has a bit of a sad ending. It is based in real history, so it is based in real life history, and that's how it was before, so... Uh, regardless of the ending, I think it's a great series to watch. You should definitely watch it if you're really into like the drama, a historical um, type of setting. Uh, you'll love it. It's so, 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 so good. The last one is a little bit more lighthearted and uh, romantic comedy and it's called Cinderella and the Four Nights. Also modern days. It's quite funny. It's uh, not quite realistic, but it's still really funny and really heartfelt. really like the soundtrack in that one. Um, the music really gets you hooked. Like it's, it's very catchy, so it's it's a great show. Uh, it gets a little draggy at the end or maybe towards the middle end, but it's okay. You can always fast forward, right? So regardless, it's a great show. And speaking of music, I've really been into BTS music, especially their latest album, Seven. I didn't even know about them until more recently. I did not know them at all. The reason why I've been exposed to them and kind of knew about them is that they were performing 
at the season finale of um, The Voice last last year so that's how I got to know them and then the more I got to know them and the more I started binge watching about them on YouTube and now I'm so into their music I have no idea what they're saying in it because it's all Korean I love the singers that have really high falsettos I love the rappers uh, I love the beat of the music and apparently the message behind their music as well the lyrics um, is about self-love maybe if you're Korean you can let me know if you're a BTS fan you can let me know I know they have a large worldwide fan base so that speaks volume I think and I've been really into their music as well just whenever I'm doing chores at home their music is on I will have everything linked down below everything that I discuss including the shows so that you can easily find them and if you're brand new to my channel I would love to have you back please do consider subscribing give me a like because those are important here nowadays on the YouTube land and have a great day or week ahead of you I will talk to you guys again very soon bye